was some contact between the 0 3 of Chrissy Wallace and the 20. You see Chrissy down on the inside. She's going to commit down to the bottom. The 20, yeah. as you, we talk about, takes his normal line into the corner, and Chrissy was committed to go to the inside there. When Wasn't you, quite up there, no, but. When you got to go to the curb, you're, uh, you're, you're going in too low, and you, you're not cutting that guy in front of you in slack. Not that, not that you have to, but proper etiquette, etiquette would be to uh, give that guy on the outside a little room or getting in. When does proper etiquette go out the window at a short track? Mm, about, about 20 laps to go. Yeah, but we're in that window. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and you see Scott Legacy obviously getting turned back around. The caution lights had come out. 13th caution, the record here, 16 cautions. We don't want to break that record. We broke a track record earlier today when Jack Sprague set the new track record in qualifying. Chrissy Wallace making her first ever start in the Craftsman Truck Series. Well, and if NASCAR. Else, you know, she got the free pass, like you said, and, and she's on the lead lap. That's a pretty good accomplishment to, uh, in your first race to come here on the lead lap. Truck's in pretty good shape. You've really got to, I guess, not have great expectations. You always want to think that you can accomplish a lot of things, but you have to keep those a little bit in check when it's your first ever race. The first thing is you want to survive. You, you want to stay out there. You want to survive, and you don't want to make any real, you don't want to make any enemies. You know, when you walk out of here today, she wants to walk out with her head held up high. Everybody says, you did a great job right. for your first race. Tony Stewart helping out again. See him on top of the pit box. And I think it is a tremendous accomplishment for her to be here, her first ever NASCAR race, run all day. She got a lucky dog. She got back on the lead lap. If she can finish this thing off on the lead lap, whether she finishes 24th, which is where she's running now, or 23rd or 25th, it's still going to be a great day for Chrissy Wallace. I got I to gotta agree. I mean, she's shown. Here's something I always look at in a new driver, track presence. She's known where she is, and I know that may sound, well, what do you mean? <laughs> she knows where she is. She's known where all the people around her are. That's good track presence. And the truck is relatively clean. I mean, there's a few bumps and scratches on here, but for her first short track race, relatively clean truck. I give her a B plus. Not a bad grade from a guy who's won here 11 times, 11 grandfather clocks. We were listening into Chrissy and her father talk on the radio just moments ago. Hey, I was on the bottom. He didn't do anything wrong. He just decided to try to close the door. That's nothing wrong. Tough role that Mike Wallace has to play. Spotter, father. <laughs> he, he, he didn't do anything wrong. He ducked in here right before he went upstairs to the spotter stand. I said, now you have a spotter's pass or a dad pass? He said, I have a dad pass. <laughs> uh, didn't I, start. I hadn't really seen him smile much up there. He's been, been pretty tense. All right. Not Dennis. much of a smile still for Mike Wallace. Get ready. 15 more, put, picking them up and ready. putting them down. And green flag, green flag. And a special day for the Wallace family as well. Chrissy Wallace making her NASCAR debut at age 19. You said a top 20, a top 15 would be good. 17th, you must be satisfied. Oh, I'm, sad. I'm extremely excited for the guys on Jermaine Racing Team. Thanks to Geico and Mobile for coming on board with us this weekend. We came home with a pretty much straight truck and got a top 17, top 20 finish, and I'm really happy. A, a great start for Chrissy Wallace, guys.